Hey folks, today I'm going to be bringing you an update on my transition, the things that have been happening and all of those lovely things that come along with transition and I guess some not so lovely things um, but I'll get to that as well. Yeah, when I start really, it's always hard trying to figure out how to start this kind of video because I'm just like, there's so much to talk about but I don't know where to start. Okay, so my last update was my one year on T. So, really annoying stuff has been happening. My T levels have dropped to half of what they were. I've now had my period for three months in a row and the most recent one was really painful. I got really bad cramps, I was exhausted. There was like a lot and it lasted like five days and it was just really annoying. And I'm so ready for it to be gone forever again. Like I didn't have it for absolutely ages and then all of a sudden it's back and I'm just like I'm not I'm not happy with this. I really have dysphoria about this before because before tea I was I was kind of used to it and then when I went on tea and I didn't have it for so long I got used to that and then it, coming back it's just reminded me of what it is and what it's doing and it's also it kind of makes me feel like my transition has taken a step back and it's just so frustrating. So yeah, my T levels have dropped. They're half of what they were. I have no idea why. I'm like, my only possible reasoning for it is that my skin has thickened so much that the gel isn't absorbing. Like I've heard that can be a thing. I don't know if that's the case with me, but I literally have no idea what it could be or why it's doing this. It's so, so annoying. But yeah, so Obviously, you all know I'm on private prescription at the moment. Very annoying. I can't do anything about it until January when I get my next GIC appointment where I'll go to an NHS prescription. Yeah, so I literally got an email today saying um, that they're going to give me my prescription and they're giving me more. They're doubling my dosage. Or well, not doubling my dosage, they're giving me two bottles basically um, instead of one and I'm now going to be on three pumps a day rather than... <laughs> this does not do well for my anxiety. I already struggle to sleep at night because the tea, I don't know, it does something to... it thickens your blood, doesn't it? So I really feel it in my chest, in my heart. When I'm trying to sleep, I can feel my heart beating more intensely and I am a panicker, I'm a warrior. I immediately, I'm just like, that's it, I'm dying. So I lay there at night before I go to sleep, pretty much every single night, just like, I hate this. <laughs> so I actually have um, this this boy here, he is my sleeping buddy every night, and I hold him like this, because he kind of like dulls the, the sound a little bit, I don't feel it as intensely when I have him here, I know that's really lame, but it's the only way I can get through this. <laughs> yeah, so he's my he's my helping boy. Um, and he's actually adorable, so can we all thank him for his amazing work? Because he's, he's been good. He's been good to me. I love him. But, yeah, so with this increase in dosage, I'm now having to pay double what I was paying before, which was £45 a month for the prescription. I'm now paying £90, no, £80 a month for the prescription, and then an extra £25 for the services that I'm on, for the private service. So I'm paying £105 a month at this point, and it's just extortionate. I'm on minimum wage, I'm on benefits, you know, I'm, I'm trying to enjoy my life, do things, do fun things in my life, and I have to be like, do I want to pay for my prescription, or do I want to go out and enjoy my life? And at this point, it's so hard trying to struggle with both of them. So on top of my transition, I'm also having these financial struggles. And it's just... It's the millennial life, isn't it, really? Like, it's not fun. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that's what's happening with my T levels and my periods come back. Um, I'm now on three pumps instead of two. Oh, also... Uh, duh, quite important. So, Gender GP have suggested that I go on blockers, and I'm just like, I can get that on NHS prescription. I have to go to my doctor and be like, hey, 
this has been advised that I take this, could you give this to me? Um, that's an injection. But at the same time, I'm just like, I'm going on to NHS prescription tea in two months. Is it worth the hassle of going to the GP and organising shots, like blockers at this point? I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's a lot of, ha like, it's a lot of hassle on it. Stuff like this makes me really anxious, and I'm just, yeah, I don't know. I might do it. I might do it. I don't know. I just have to see what happens, really. But I don't want my period anymore, and the blockers will stop that. But how long will it take for the blockers to start working? You know? I'm just like, by the time they might start working, I might already be off bloody gel and onto shots. So I don't know. <laughs> Everything is whack right now oh yeah anyway i'm gonna stop complaining i'm gonna go on to the like physical transition stuff that's i'm gonna start off with the thing that has been most noticeable for me and that is my face so as you can see here this is a whole mess it's really really bad um but I'm dealing with it. I'm trying to clear up my skin as much as possible. I do like a daily face scrub every day and then every few days I use like a face mask to just try to sort it out. But obviously it's not going to do much because it's hormones and it's hair growth and all those things combined. Your skin's not really gonna ever be happy with that. So yeah, that's just something I'm gonna have to deal with until it passes. So the next thing is I haven't shaved just so that I could show you the extent to what this is growing to at the moment. So if you can see all this here, it's quite significant now. Like, is that not quite significant? And then, like, even here, I'm actually getting some here, and I never had that before. That's new for me. And then under here, that as well. So, yeah, like, the tea is still working to a degree. It's still doing something. It's just not doing <laughs> what I'd want it to do. Um, namely, that's my voice. Like, my voice hasn't really changed at all. I mean, it has a little bit. But it's not enough, like it doesn't, it's not like passing voice at this point. I still sound kind of on that middle ground between masculine and feminine when it comes to my voice and like that's how I personally feel about it. And it's, and it's just, yeah, like I can hear it, I can feel it rumbling. Like I'm thinking like the moment I go into shots that'll just drop straight away. I'm hoping. Because the foundation is already there, you know, like the foundation is there. It's like set. Like now this now all I have to do is build the house. So that's gonna be the shots, that's gonna be the injections. Uh so yeah, next is uh body hair. So my arms in particular have been really come here, wait, focus. Like picking it all. Oh, see that muscle there? Muscle. Um but yeah. They've been getting quite hairy. Um, and then uh, the next thing is chest hair. Uh, well, not belly hair, more than anything. And then, yeah, so the rest is just like more hair here, annoyingly, um, but whatever, I'll deal with that. And then leg hair as well, there's quite a lot of leg hair. I'm not just, I'm just not gonna kick my leg up to show you because that's just too much effort. So, in the last couple months since I've moved to Brighton, I've lost a lot of weight. I've lost about a stone. And I can really tell it in my hips and my belly. They're more like this now, whereas before they used to be more like that. So it's not just body weight distribution, it's also actual weight loss. Like my stomach is more flat now. I don't have, yeah, I'm not as curvy on the sides. My legs are just pure muscle at this point because Brighton's really hilly. So I just walk everywhere. I guess my diet is quite, I don't consume too much. 
and then I do lots of walking and it's quite balanced so yeah I've been losing a lot of weight and gaining a, some muscle so that's good at least that makes me really happy because my weight has been something that out of everything brings me the most dysphoria because of the way it shapes my body it makes it quite you know feminine in shape quite curvy and when I wear clothes I have to think about what I'm wearing to try and so that it doesn't accentuate the shape so much. Um, I like wearing baggy clothes because it kind of hides that and makes things more formless. And um, for me that's quite important. I don't like wearing tight clothes, especially when I'm binding as well because it shows off the shape of the binder as well. And everything all together is just a bit, it's not fun. So the fact that I've lost weight and my binder's actually not fitting so much anymore because I've lost weight. So it's a bit loose, especially like around the sides here like I'm it's it's not binding as well as it could be because I've lost weight so yeah I might have to invest in a new binder as well which again is more money but you know whatever I'll deal with it and I don't really I don't really know if it's affected my face at all like because of the T my jawline's got a bit rounder anyway so if I've lost any weight there it's been kind of replaced with muscle and whatever it is that T puts in your face and makes your face more like distinct like because I have like like a jawline like that but I feel like my jawline used to be more defined pretty because of um because of the shape of it and I mean I never really had a lot of weight in my face anyway like it wasn't really I wasn't really like chubby in the face at all so now like, I kind of have a little bit like here it's much more distinct but yeah so weight loss hasn't really done anything to my face that's mostly just tea. I didn't put on any makeup for this video because, yeah, I wanted to show you how my skin is and my facial hair and I find that when I put makeup on, it kind of covers that up a little bit. So, um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this great view. <laughs> it doesn't, like, it doesn't... It's annoying, but it doesn't make me self-conscious because I know that I have to deal with it and I kind of just embrace it. It's just a part of what happens and if I got too worked up about it I'd have to add that stress onto everything else that I'm getting worked up about. So I think it's more like a mental block on these things <laughs> so that it, don't, it doesn't affect me because I'm a very sensitive boy and I'm trying my best to just let it all go over my head and just be like fucking in the clouds at this point. I'm just trying not to let anything affect me because if it does I'll open that door and then it will just be downhill from there so yeah anyway I know this hasn't been the most positive of videos I'm trying to be honest and true to myself with my transition and how I portray that and show you like you know how it really is obviously my transition is different to everyone else's but it's never a smooth transition it's a huge physical, mental thing that your body is going through and there is going to be ups and downs the entire way and things need to happen and some things will get worse before they get better and hopefully there's just a light at the end of the tunnel which is NHS prescription, top surgery referral, my T levels going to a good place, transition stuff happening quicker, yeah that's the dream, that's the 2019 dream so <laughs> We will see. So I'm being much more active on my Patreon now. I'm putting a lot more like updates on there about stuff. You can pledge as low as one dollar a month and you can get literally access to all of the posts on there. Um, obviously if you pledge higher there are rewards that you get as a special shout out to Lorenzo Estriel for pledging ten dollars. That means a lot. Thank you so much. Like honestly the support that I'm getting through my Patreon is just really helping me with these medical fees that have been haunting me for this year and a half and I I think I would have struggled a lot more if I didn't have the help of you and all my other patrons as well so yes thank you so much it means so much to me yeah if you do want to pledge um, my Patreon is linked down below or if you want to just look at the rewards that you can get um, yeah, it's all down below, so please go check that out. I'll appreciate it. 
and also not just for my medical transition but it's also just to support my creativity like it means a lot and yeah anyway <laughs> no pressure at all but yeah if you want to go check that out you can I forgot what I say at my end of my videos now because I watch too many other videos of too many people and it's just getting to the point where everything is mushing in my head. What do I say at the end of my videos? I've forgotten. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye, bye.